Greetings, my fine, fair, friendly fellow Fiat Destroyers. And let me know in the comments down below if you want me to ever use that greeting again. But let's dive right into this video. I'm excited. Boy, look at this mess. Look at this nice, juicy conglomeration of silver we got going on right here. I'm going to explain what this is how I got it, and a little bit of what I paid for it. So yeah, let's just jump right in. I will tell you that this was a private buy. This was something I found on the app Let Go, which has since disappeared. Let Go and Offer Up joined together, and now I don't have the app on my phone. I've been kind of busy. I don't know. I didn't really like offer up as much as let go. But anyway, I did this deal with this guy. And then, uh, spoiler alert, I actually got his number. And we since did another deal. But that's going to be a future video. So I don't usually buy this much silver at one shot. At least I didn't do this much last year. But this year, 2020 is different. It's more like saving for a while and then buying the good deals when they come up. Okay, so basically um, the guy had, I'm trying to remember now, I think he had these silver eagles and he posted and maybe like this junk silver collection which is a conglomeration of 90%, 40%, and there were some war nickels. I might have lost track of them. I think I might have taken care of the war nickels already, but anyway, and we kind of went through this and agreed on some prices, but guys, we agreed on a deal before we met up and spot price changed, but he kept the deal. And believe it or not, I actually bought these silver eagles, all of these right here. This pile right here is all silver eagles and they're in a funny flimsy plastic case, not like the normal ones, like these generics are in a hard plastic. But I'll probably end up taking them out of these because I suppose they won't fit in the tube and I don't care about them being in a uh, capsule. And they're a bunch of different dates. And anyway, guys, yeah, right here they are. So I think I have them all here. And if I lost track of one, it's because I put one somewhere else or something like that. But there were 17. 17 silver eagles is what I purchased and here's a toner. It might be the only one. It's a 1987. I don't think there was an 86 in the lot, but a 1987 is the second year release. But anyway, guys, I can't, I can't get it quite spit out, but here it is. I bought, oh, look, this is a 2020. I think it was only one 2020. I bought these 17 silver eagles for just a hair under spot because we agreed on a price and he he was um, definitely okay with keeping that price. And then I went on to buy more of this stuff. But isn't that amazing, guys? You know, the deals, they're out there. I mean, this one isn't anymore. I got it. But I got these uh, 17, almost a tube of Silver Eagles for just a hair under spot at the time. And right now, as of recording this video at the end of September, um, it would be above spot right now, but we know that we're in a dip right now, some kind of dip or little mini crash or something um, before prices probably return to normal, but we'll see. Either way, I'm just glad I have that much more weight, especially in Silver Eagles in my stack. So that's really cool. And when I did this acquisition, it's probably been more than a month ago, so this would probably go back to... Um, August sometime, believe it or not, so that's a little crazy, but I'm a little behind in some of my videos I'm trying to to catch up So anyway, that was a part of why we met and then I knew he had some of this stuff but he brought along these other things and We just went over things and and I ended up getting quite a bit I didn't quite destroy all the fiat that I had with me that day, but I got a bunch of stuff so he had a number of these carded walking liberties and I just picked out these ones I think I paid 10 bucks a piece, which was not a bad price at that time. At that time, you would be hard pressed to find junk silver online for um, even as low as $20 times face. So there's that. I'll probably bust them out of there, but 
um, hey, it's another dollar face. And then here are two tubes of mercury dimes. So we all know what a mercury dime looks like, I believe, but there we go. Get a look at that one. Definitely kind of slicked, but it's a 1929, I think I see. So that's fine. I'll have fun going through these, seeing if they upgrade my album or fill any holes, and then getting them into my Mercury Dime guardhouse box, which desperately needs some weight added to it. Now here, we've got some generic silver, and I think there's, well, mostly two kinds. We've got these Sunshine, is it Sunshine? Yeah, Sunshine Minting. I think there are sunshine mining rounds, but here, let me bring this in in case you haven't seen one. And again, I'll probably ditch the capsules, but this does have that security feature right there. Um, you can get a little card to put over that to see if it says valid, and then you hold it another way and it will say SSI, but I'm not worried about that. Oh, I did take all these silver eagles to the coin shop and verified them on a Sigma Metalytics machine so those are legit and I definitely know that this guy's selling legit stuff so we got two four six seven looks like of these sunshine minting rounds and then two four six and there were seven of these rounds and they're really cool let me find oh no here's an odd one I must have had six here we go let me bring this in it says stagecoach silver for when you have to get out of Dodge and then check out the reverse you can actually bust these apart and use them as fractional silver if you would need to I don't think I'm going to bust them apart but they're pretty cool and I actually used one of these already in the Yankee box swap I switched one of these for another vintage-ish round and this is just another uh, generic round right here Okay, so now here's another really awesome buy, and he gave me a great price on the generics too. I think I paid maybe about the same price or close as I paid for the Silver Eagles. And these um, are 40% Silver Ike dollars, and he sold me these under melt. He had eight written on them, but he actually gave them to me at five a piece which was under mode at the time i think it probably is now too but those are cool and i don't seek them out that much but i love the big dollar coins so that's pretty awesome and then i got a few um odds and ends right here here's a couple little series here we've got the um the melt you know the, the melt sorry we got the silver 64 Kennedy half dollar and a silver quarter there a silver dime I believe he basically sold these to me at like the melt value so I thought hey why not they're kind of cool maybe I can find something fun to do with them someday and then here again is another of the silver Ike dollars and it has the blue chip so that's pretty sweet comes in this ratty old envelope pretty cool all right, so that was definitely like under spot. And then here's just a tube of stuff. And, oh, okay, there we go. Now, there's a mixture here. Okay, so here's like 40% painted. Kennedy halves, don't really care much about that. I mean, I am stacking the 40% to an extent. I'm going to fill a guardhouse box, which I have almost done. But... We've got Mercury's in here, there's Washington Quarters, here's a 64 Kennedy, 64 Kennedy, you get the idea. There's the Standing Liberty, now I don't really keep the Standing Liberties, I mean I do, I did actually sell some a while back, I still need to make a video about that, um, did a little ratio trade, traded, got rid of some Standing Liberty Quarters and got some gold, but yeah, anyway, so I'll sort that out after a bit. Once I have some time, I want to make the video first. And, of course, this stuff's been sitting around forever. But, basically, um, yeah, I picked up quite a bit of silver. 
get this guy in here and cap that up. Not sure what I'm going to do with this tube now, but hey. There's that. So we got some silver added to the stack for a very nice price. And again, I am just really tickled. I've got all these different dates. I'm going to see if I need any of these silver eagles in my silver eagle album, of which I have have the album that goes from 1986 to 2021. So that's great. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Did you guys suspect that I may have been leaving out something? Well, if you did, you were right. Look at this. He had gold. Okay. Check that out. Credit Swiss. Swiss, whatever. One gram. Fine gold. Four nines. Fine. I don't seek out these things anymore. This used to be my, my digs, but not so much anymore. But when they're under spot, oh yeah, you gotta buy gold under spot. Now this one I think was over spot, but this one was under spot. And just kidding, there's only two. <laughs> um, so we've got a gram and a 125th ounce. So let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. I think that's showing up there. A 125th ounce Canadian. And this is actually a coin, believe it or not. It's a 125th ounce pure gold coin. We've got the good old coin on there. And you might be able to make out it says 50 cents. So pretty cool. And this one I know for a fact I got under melt. And this one's slightly above. And they're both a good price. And especially the 25th ounce, so I was like, of course I'm taking those. And that's all the gold he had. But, awesome, awesome, awesome. All of this silver for such a good price. I was so tickled. And I made a new friend. It was really cool to just meet up with a guy, shake his hand, and talk silver and gold and stacking and all this stuff. It was really fun. Now, I've got my 50 pieces of gold paper right here. So... We are ready for piece number 51 and 52. So that's great. We're working on our second half. And I guess it doesn't really matter too much what order we go in here. So we'll just say the gram is number 51. Get my gold pen fired up here. So we got piece number 51. And we'll get that weight added on there. This is the weight of the gram, 0 0.0322 troy ounces. So less than a twentieth of an ounce, but hey, it all adds up, especially when you get it for a good deal. So let's add that to our previous total. And our new total is 7.14446, up just a little bit from the 0.1124. And now let's go ahead and add on piece number 52. Piece number 52 is 0.04 troy ounces, which I should have been able to do in my head, but I just wasn't thinking. So that brought up our total. Not a lot, but, you know, it all adds up, like I said. And we got two more pieces of gold in our challenge, and that is great as well. I really do appreciate you guys joining in to watch. And let me know down below what you think about these purchases. And I'd love to hear your stories of the private deals that you've been able to make or the good deals you make with your LCS anywhere you can. I'm just always excited to hear of other stackers' stories of, of success. And remember, guys, look at this. Nice big fat stack of eagles here. Remember, keep stacking the silver. Doesn't quite have the same ring with that plastic and the gold. And keep on destroying the fiat.